What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we're on the lake in the Hobie and uh, it's a pedal kayak but that's not going to work today. We're in some super super shallow and weedy lily pad filled areas and it's just not working. We are actually shooting a video using nothing but baits that I got off of shopcarls.com. Uh, amazing baits, awesome baits that actually work. So we're gonna be using those. This video is sponsored by the boys over at Catch Co. So we're gonna be putting some fish in the boat with some baits from shopcarls.com. If you guys wanna use uh, the discount code Get, uh, Get Real 10 on an order of $25 or more, you'll get $10 off. And uh, it's, there's, there's some amazing baits. It's not just um, Shop Carls or Catch Co products. There's some Rapala. There's actually big name stuff on there with discount prices. I'll link uh, everything in, down below if you wanna become a member of them. You'll get discounts on literally any bait that you can think of for some freshwater action. Like, it's pretty good stuff. It works great for Father's Day too. Father's Day is right around the corner. You guys gotta get your dad some freshwater fish, fishing gear because I'm sure you guys lost a bunch of gear when you guys were kids using his stuff. So go ahead and uh, check out uh, Catch Co products and uh, shopcarls.com. Let's go catch some fish. Guggen squad frog on here little guy came in my uh, Carl's bundle from Carl's uh, Carl, uh, shop Carl's.com I'm gonna throw this before I get into the water I want to see if there's anything just chilling close before my kayak actually disturbs it and uh, we'll see what happens Cause you got a lot of sunnies going around and the sunnies are hitting all the bugs so if there's a bass just chilling in the weeds I want to get him before I spook him with the kayak like right there, a little sunny right there. It looks like this pond is very much just lilies at this point. I wanted to come here for a long time, but I've been hitting up some striped bass instead. I've never been to this lake, so I have no idea how it fishes, what fish are in here besides what I saw. I'm dropping my kayak, I saw some pickerel, I saw some sunnies. I know for a fact that there's bass in here. Uh, I don't know how it fishes. The water seems pretty clean, but it does seem like there's a lot of lilies and weeds everywhere, which could be a good thing. Since I'm new to this place, I'm gonna just do a little exploring. I, I casted the initial areas. So I'm just gonna do some exploring out here in the middle, see what everything looks like, and then try to find some points, some shadow areas. And uh, if I can get up to where that opens, I'm gonna to try to catch some fish in the open water. Just trying to piece together this little pond. I'm gonna go around this bend because there's some reeds in the water and that typically holds some fish. There we go. First throw with the Zuchi bug on the jig. Ah, oh, I lost him. No, I still have, oh, I lost him. Dang, that was crazy. Amazing bait spinner bait. What do we got? Is it a pickerel or a bass? That's a bass. Nice. Well, that's a relief. Look at that. Nothing like spinner bait bass around some weeds. Been trying the frog, the zuchi bug. I guess they wanted a little bit more flash today. Pretty cool. Alright. Mwah. Smooch and release. Try a vile minnow up here. They're like little fluke style baits. I'm gonna try that with a, it's a weedless hook. 
so that I can bury so we're just gonna bury it like that and figure out where the hook's gonna go come out straight pinch it a little let's work come on with these dang uh, vile minnow for the win right there that's the second fish in a row i stopped the camera <laughs> to talk about the last one i guess i didn't re or hit record again all right Mwah. let's catch some more so it seems like the vile minnow is what's going to produce my fish anyway i just threw it into one of those pockets that i was talking to you guys about those little openings in the weeds and the fish hit it both times that i had fish so we're just gonna keep casting and we may have found a pattern here. It's a pick. Thank God he's nowhere. His teeth are nowhere near my vile minnow. <laughs> oh gosh. There we go. Bye. Let's get this vile minnow back on there without ripping it. So the cool thing about using weightless baits and uh, I have white color line on here but the cool thing about it is when you're using weightless baits and you can't see your bait if your line goes and just straightens out you have a fish so it's cool like when I'm throwing wacky rig senkos or or this the the weightless vile minnow just cruising it around everything I know that if all of a sudden my line gets caught gets really really tight and it's underneath the lily pad and I can't see anything then that's a hit and I'm gonna set the hook He went into the boat. <laughs> ah, that was like a 22 inch pickerel. <laughs> he went through. Dang. <laughs> I've never had that happen. That was sick. Yo, easy release on a big toothy creature on the vial, you know? Dang, <laughs> son. I'm all right with that. I, I, that was, okay. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Well, it's been a solid four hours of fishing and uh, we've caught some bass, some pickerel, and uh, we went through so many different baits and we actually caught on two. One was the vile minnow, which was the game changer and the, the day saver here. And uh, I'll link that below. Uh, the other one was the uh, Carl's Amazing Bait spinner bait. I'll link that below. I had a couple hits on that and I had one of the biggest wakes I've ever seen come up. Uh, on that spinner bait but as uh, as we conclude the day I'm gonna continue to fish for a little bit but the wind is picking up and uh, it's just getting annoying because I left the anchors in the truck and I even I went out and I built an anchor system for this thing I just never put it back on so that's that if you guys want to go check out Carl's or, or shop Carl's all these uh, Carl's amazing baits the uh, biospawn vile minnow or the the spinner bait all those things I'll link everything below if you use get real 10 as your discount code at checkout you will get ten dollars off but it has to be a twenty five dollar or more order and uh, if these vile minnows I suggest getting them because one their action is beautiful and they have such a really cool scent I think that's what really helped with today but yeah, we're gonna continue to fish. Clouds coming over and it's cooling down the day. So hopefully we get something. We might be getting a little bit of rain too. 
Who knows? We're gonna keep fishing.